This is how you tap into a wiring harness using a soldering iron. Start by stripping back about half an inch of insulation material from the end of your new wire, exposing the copper underneath. Twist the loose strands together to avoid the wire ends from fraying and to make it easier to work with. Next, take your wire strippers and locate the wire you wish to tap into. You want to be careful not to cut through the wire or any of the wire strands, simply to break the jacket material on the outside. When you've exposed the wire strands underneath, you can pull the wire jacket apart, exposing about a quarter inch of copper. Then take your new wire end and twist the strands onto the exposed portion of the wire that you wish to tap into. With that in place, you can take your solder and your soldering iron, and just like before, you want to heat the wires from underneath with the soldering iron and flow the solder through from above. This ensures that it gets up to temperature and that it fills the connection with solder. Make sure that your new connection is secure, and then you'll take some electrical tape and cover any portion of exposed wire. We like this method because soldering is the most secure, permanent way to tap into your wiring harness.